to cook and the outer coating becomes overcooked, so stick around the one kilo mark. Now for the seasoning. I've got one cup of plain flour, one tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now this doesn't make it hot, it just gives it a bit of a kick. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs. And now for the secret ingredient that will make it super crunchy, I've got some instant potato mash powder, and I'm going to add in half a cup of this. Give this a good mix together, and it's time to prepare the chicken. So here I'm just taking a piece of chicken, and I'm just going to dip it in some egg wash, which is just a couple of beaten eggs, mixed with a little bit of water, and then into the flour mix, and onto a plate, and I'm going to repeat this for all of the chicken pieces and set it to one side for 20 minutes and then it's time to do it again. So into the egg wash, back into the flour and what this does is it gives it a lovely thick coating and this will help make that chicken super crunchy. So again, just repeat this for all of the chicken, leave it to one side for 20 minutes before cooking and it's time to fry it. So here I've got some canola oil preheated to 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit and I'm just going to gently place in half of those chicken pieces. You don't want to overcrowd your oil here. And I'm going to cook this for 15 minutes, turning it every three to four minutes. And this will ensure the chicken's cooked nice and evenly. And once it's done, I'm going to remove it from the fryer and place it onto a rack to remove any excess oil. And just repeat this step for the rest of your chicken. And this is what you get guys. Be sure to leave it for about 10 minutes or so before digging in so you don't burn your mouth. And enjoy. Now this recipe is so delicious that extra crunch really tops off your standard fried chicken, so give it a go. If you want some more recipes, check out my barbecue cooking channel, my Google Plus and my Facebook pages. I've put the links down in the description bar along with a full list of ingredients for today's recipe. Thanks for watching and I will catch you all next time.